the big interview here today, the big scoop for Scoop Edmonds herself, <laughs> is uh, Lions head coach Dan Campbell was here, the Grand Marshal. Uh, he said, drivers, start your engines. Very low key when he did it. But you spoke to him before. Probably wore him out from your interview, I would guess. Yes, I thought he'd ham it up way more than he did. <laughs> but I tell you, he had a lot of great bites again this morning. I'm not worried about uh, the national media or people that are outside of this community. Um, I really don't. Um, my, my message from, from day one has always been about our fans, our players, uh, those that support who we are and what we're about and support this city. And so anybody that doesn't like that or doesn't know what we're talking about, and yeah, that doesn't, that's not for you. So. The kneecaps thing is going to live with you for a long time. You sure you want to say that one? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I was being me, you know, and it, it, if I could do it all over again, if that was where it was, it, it, I felt like that was bubbling up again, I would say it again because it's there. And so I just, you know, like I said, I was being, being me. I got to ask you, since you're here in person, you're saying you love golf. You love what you see so far. No pads, but you're liking what you see. Sure do. He, he's been, uh, I, I would say, the, everybody knows the arm talent. There's a reason why he was the first pick of the draft. Um, but I think what I've was really impressed me is, is uh, his growth in our offense, but his, his uh, command of the offense and, and his leadership with the other guys. There is a calm, present confidence about him um, that I think his teammates already are, are beginning to see and feel. And that's what excited me. I didn't know what that was yet because I haven't been around him. And so um, that that gives me a lot of hope uh, with him. And uh, you can't argue with the arm talent as well. So he's been, he's been everything that we'd kind of hoped to this point. There's a lot of hope for the Lions in this town. I have to ask you about racing. That's why you're here. Mm -hmm. What have you learned in the hour or so that you've been here that you didn't know? Yeah, I, well, here's what I learned that I had no idea about. The, um, the amount of preparation, physical um, conditioning that it takes to handle one of these machines, I had no idea. Um, now, I didn't assume you just jump in a car and drive, but I, I was unaware of where your heart rate goes for long periods of time to be able to muscle these cars and to be able to fight them and take them on the curves and you feel every bump. There's not power steering. Uh, the G's that you pull and you have to learn to breathe properly and you have to work your neck so that you can breathe when you hit the pull those G's. I had no idea. and I. Uh, Look, I appreciate the hell out of that as, a, as an athlete and somebody that trains athletes, and I appreciate the teamwork that goes into it. Cool. And you were saying you are a car guy. Mm. Maybe you didn't know much about racing, but you're a car guy, and you lived dangerously when you were younger. Well, no. <laughs> I, I think what I was – I just did – I'm like anybody else. I was 15, 14, 15, you know, you're a teenager, and you do some stupid stuff, all right? And so I'm just – I'm glad I'm here today. All right, then last question. How fast you get going off the Southfield Freeway getting to work? <laughs> Look, I've been good, all right? I've been good, and uh, I'm not going to do anything stupid, but um, but th those were those were years ago. So. People want a winner so bad. If you got pulled over, my guess is you'd get out of the ticket. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't test that, though. He's a terrific personality. He really is. As great in person as he is on Zoom, he says he wants to inject himself into this community, and I think he is. You know, the, the key for Dan Campbell is he has opened up. He, he owned that first press conference. He won that by a mile. He's been great all along. But in September, when they kick off, that is really, and I think he knows that. If he's a winner, he'll be, he could be, he could be governor of the state. <laughs> if he's not. Buildings will be named after. Absolutely, yeah. with the history of the Lions. But, uh, he knows that, though, and I think that's his whole – but I, from what I understand, he got a six-year deal, so he doesn't have to do it overnight. He has to do it over a period of time. But he seems like he's a player's coach, yes. and there's nothing better than a player's coach because for the last three years they did not have a player's coach in here, and kind of the uh, coach before him. Matt Patricia lost the team in his first year. Jim Caldwell had the team. Patricia lost it. I think he'll regain the team. And you know what else? Brad Holmes was here. They're, they really want to ingratiate themselves to Detroit, and they're doing a good job. It's June, yeah, but they're doing a good job. Yeah, all right. We like them. Yes, keep them. <laughs> Back to you. <laughs>